All right, Mike's working on his radial over here. And I think where we left his off, he was uh, making bearing carriers for the mini bear bearings, the cam bearings, I think they call them. He's just setting up his uh, magnetic gauge and yeah, dial indicator. indicator. Yeah, because the graduations on the crank here are not really uh, easy to read at all. Mm. So, we got to take another 10 thousandths off. Well, I don't want to take 10 thousandths, so another, say, 8 thousandths off. We'll see how it goes there. Okay. Right, we're gonna let him work on that, and then uh, we'll get back to him. I think he's gotta cut that piece in there. How many? How many make it? Four barons? Six. Six? Yep. Six barons. I think I just heard your phone ring. Yeah. I think I heard a phone, Mike. Oh no. Uh oh. Road call? Maybe. Hey, Ed. What's up? All right, Mike. What's going on here? Well, I made the first uh, bearing carrier ring. And we're going to try something new, uh, which I haven't done before, well, for, at least for this project, is uh, we're going to try to heat this up and shrink it on the bearing. So we have the bearing in the freezer right now, um, and I'm going to heat this up with the torch here and uh, set the bearing down, and hopefully this will just slip right on it. It's about, uh, it's like a thousandth and a half or two thousandth worth of interference uh, in the bearing. I'm not really sure how much it should be, but we're just going to give it a try. And uh, you're gonna hang it on that little piece of yeah. I'm metal? just gonna hang it on the hang it into the air. You know, heat heat it up and then grab it with a pair of uh, pliers. I, hopefully, these channel locks won't suck too much of the heat out of it. If I just grab it on the on the edge here and, and quickly just grab it and drop it, hmm. hopefully they won't suck too enough too much heat out of it, so it'll shrink too prematurely. But we're gonna try that. You think we're gonna get enough heat out of the, the map gas? Oh yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. I mean, uh, it's, you get you, that ready. I'll go, I'm going to go in. You could get probably it. melt this if you wanted to with the map gas. Oh yeah, aluminum. You know. I never thought of that. So gotta All be right. careful. I'm going to go to the freezer and I'm going to bring the. What? I'm going to start heat heating. it up and then you tell me go. I'm going to win the run. All right. Yep. All right. That's the guy. All right. I got to get the Baron. Come on. What are you doing? Oh, get out! I got to get the Baron. Okay, I got the Baron. I got it right here. Hold it. Hurry up. Don't let your face hair on fire. Go ahead. I can't get it lined up. Oh, too late. I no. ruined it. I ruined it. I guess if you needed to. No, and look at it. The actually. Body handle. No, I ruined it. Oh, man. I actually uh, melted the seals in the bearing, too. Oh, man. Oh. I knew we should have uh, taken them out. That's right, you said that. Yeah. And you forgot. You were rushing me. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I think I ordered extra barons, though. We did. Oh, I All smell right. the grease burning off of it, too. Alright. It's just a test. We're going to redo that. Yeah. We might leave this in, though. Just a trial and error. Alright, Tubes. Mike just uh, dropped this over here. It's uh, one of his bearings completed in the seat and everything. Looks pretty good. So uh, that's one down. Let me go over and see how he's doing. How are we making out over here, buddy? I'm doing just fine. One down, five to go. Yeah. It's like a nice sharp fit you got there. Thank you. I'm going to say, I hear something squeaking. We don't want the guys to let you know you need oil on that. Oh, yeah. Interesting setup you got there with the boring bar. Yeah. You're not really using it as a center to go in the middle of that thing. You're just going it far enough that you need. So you got to do with these little machines and stuff. Do what you can do. Well, it works well for this purpose. I mean, if you were taking heavier cuts and, you know, a stiff or a harder material, maybe you couldn't do that, but... It works well for what it is. I mean, because we're starting out with a hole that's only, I think, five eighths diameter, and this is a half inch boring bar. So, you know, yeah, right. rather than You're not making a tiny little tool, and another thing is, this allows me to get the tool right up against the the uh, step inside there, versus where if I was going to use if I was going to use a, a straight tool, 
you know, it'd be it'd be set back, you know, three sixteenths of an inch, and even if you know, hmm. I just didn't see yeah. it was, you know, worth it. I mean, I could have the tool on the angle, but a lot shorter. But remember, five eighths hole, half inch bar, so right. doesn't let leave me much clearance to see what's going on, oh, well. or clearance for the chips to move out. So right. taking oh, well. a light cut and soft material works well like this. Somebody armchair machinist out there will let us know what you should have done. Yeah. Looks good to me, though. All right, thanks. That's all that matters, buddy. All right. All right, keep going. All right. So far, like I say, you only got the one. Let's go over and see what he's doing. How are we making out, buddy? Oh, I'll make it out just fine, you know. This is about all I'm going to do for tonight, to make this last cut. It's uh, getting a lot later than I thought. Yeah, yeah, so, I figured uh, you'd be leaving soon. Yeah, but heck, you know, I had a good time, and... Got one bearing carrier done. Yeah. One down, five to go. So. Well, that's good. All right. You know, that's, uh, that's it's a little bit. You know, we, we probably wouldn't have even done that, but we want to. We want to do a little bit of something on this anyway. Yeah, just for the heck of it, you know. It's been, it's been quite a while since uh, anything really. Yeah. So that's it. it. You know, at least, at least we know these guys just want updates, and uh, we'll just let them know what, what little bit of progress we're making. We'll we'll let them see it. Yep. Yep. All right. Well, we Enough of that. Say goodbye to your fans. So long. All right. See you guys. All right, Tubes. Might get left for the evening now, but uh, here's that Baron that we were playing with. And that's all we're doing. We're just having fun. We uh, we knew it probably wasn't going to work, but uh, when Mike was he was starting to uh, press his Baron together and everything, I told him, I said, you know, in the 70s, we used to put ring gears on uh, flywheels with, uh, we used to heat one end and throw the other one in the refrigerator. Or the freezer, and they just sit on top of it, and they would, uh, when they cooled off, they would uh, bind together. So I said, "Why don't we try that one of bearings?" And he said he, he didn't think it would work because the, the the aluminum would probably get annealed, which he was right. That's why he crushed us. So that he didn't want to, he didn't want to use it. But then he did sacrifice it. He took one for the team there, just to have a little fun. And the bearing, the bearing is actually still good. It just doesn't have seals, but uh, we're not going to use that anyway. But like I said, he crushed this just to see how soft it got. And we had plenty more of these, but we do that kind of stuff, you know, experiment and play around just to have fun. I mean, uh, we don't get together, you know, just to come here and work and uh, build stuff, you know. We're, our main uh, reason to get together is just to have a little fun. And Mike was in that one with us, so. Thanks for taking one for the team, buddy. All right. And then he, he continued on. It only takes him... Uh, Maybe about uh, five minutes to make the outside uh, bearing carrier. That's why he didn't he didn't really care too much. So that's where he's at. He he did that at my suggestion, <laughs> and at first he he didn't want to, but then he said, "Oh, what the hell." So all right, I'll see you guys later.